Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of FTL, back on board the VSS Titan, which is of course part of Dry Eagle's Crystal Shard mod. I apologize for the audio in the last couple videos. For some reason, the game keeps resetting on my microphone. Not the game on the actual microphone, but the settings in the sound settings. So I'll start recording, and I'll do a bunch of videos all in one go, and then I'll check the audio, and it'll be bad, because the game has been changed, so I'll have to go back and change it again. So it should be better now, I apologize for the last three videos, but there's nothing I can do about it at this point. So, here we are again, and we have another adventure on our hands. We have a fairly effective ship at this point. We've got some nice shields, a really full power engine. We've got a nice med bay teleporter, which is not doing the greatest right now, but it's there. We got some powerful weapons, a pair of burst laser twos and an ion blast two with another glaive beam in the hold, which we're probably not going to wind up using. We've got some amazing drones as well. These pair of hunter drones are basically boarding drones that only take a single power point to use. So it'd be crazy to use anything else. And a defense drone mark one, which is also fantastic. So, what do we do with that? We also have our crew. Five crystals. Hyperion, Cronus, Rhea, and Oceanus are, of course, our titans from Greek myth. We also have Jones, Roper, and Willow, another crystal we picked up along the way through legitimate means. So, in other words, we found a pod, found the Zoltan's unlock it, and now we're here in the rock home world, hoping to find a way home. And we have Tok, a human, who's hiding currently in our medbay. We've got it paused, because he can't survive out there all the time, and if we're talking too long, he'll wind up dead. We've also got ourselves regenerative crystals, which let our the crystal crew, who have already a reduced suffocation damage, they uh, regenerate at exactly the same rate they take damage, meaning that they can survive in other rooms. So that's why they're not suffocating, and it's just the Jones and Rip Roper are hiding in the medbay. So, what do we do now? Well, we're looking for an exit to the crystal sector, the all-important crystal sector. So we're going to take a look around here. I'm hoping we'll find it soon. We're going to start in the corner here, and we'll probably work our way around or something. We'll see what we do. Let's jump over here. What do we get? What do we get? Well, we're interrupted by a rock salvage operation. They don't seem to mind that we're still on board when they start to junk our ship. Well, that's not very nice. They've got some weapons, though. Weapons and a half. So we're going to start ion blasting them in the shield and hopefully take them out before they do too much to us. The Hermes missile is going to be firing fairly quickly, but we should get a full salvo of burst lasers off first. So if we knock it out, we should be fine. And if not, we'll be turning on the defense drone. Because we really don't want to die right here. That would not be nice. So please hit them again. There we go, and we're gonna blast them in the weapons. Please hit them hard, hard, hard. You missed every single shot. All right then, defense drone it is. Defense drone is go. Please shoot down that missile, thank you. We have 13 drone parts, we have some to spare, although I'd really like to just be able to do some damage here. We also have the risk of taking some serious damage. Also, Tok is suffocating still, so run him. Oh, he can't even do that anymore because the med bay is not fully powered. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, we can hide him over here, meaning he won't die, but that's not gonna keep him alive. Here comes another missile. Hopefully the uh, drone will shoot this down, because I'm using... Get him selected. He's suffocating like crazy right now. Good, 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 good. We are, of course, still on the verge of death here. Talk, I don't want you to die. I don't know why I'm so concerned about keeping you alive, because you're not particularly useful to me. But I'm going to keep you alive as best as I can. Alright, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. They're going to fire another missile at us, which hopefully our drone will block. If not, I should really put the power back into the evasion. And just run into there a couple more times. Good, drone blocked it. You're doing a good job here today, drone. I appreciate that immensely. Hit them, please. There we go. There's some firepower for us. These guys we're just going to kill directly because it's not really worth trying to take them out manually. Well, we could, I suppose, but not at this point. We wanted to get those missiles and whatnot offline because they actually had some pretty serious damage potential earlier. Let's see. If we knock out their med bay... Ooh, that's actually manageable. We might be able to do this. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to teleport in then. We're going to teleport into their weapons, and we'll kill off this guy. Okay. Teleport. Teleport. Go. Okay. Teleport into the weapons and kill this guy. We're going to let Tok die here, most likely, and then we'll send Roper in as backup. That sounds like a pretty solid strategy to me, although we're not going to be able to let these guys repair that, because if that happens, we're in trouble. So, I guess we'll just keep fighting them in here, and if he repairs it, we'll hit them. Ooh, we should probably put a lockdown there as well. I'm not really sure what the best strategy is at this point. We do not want the med bay working, is the one thing we know. I'm going to let Tok die here, I think. As much fun as it is to have to constantly keep him alive, we're just going to let him fight for his life, and then that will be that. Also, they've got three people in here, which is not ideal. We might send our NG in as well, just to cover some extra bodies, so they don't do as much damage to us. That's what we're going to do. We'll send them both into the room. Now we're... Teleport, please. There we go. There we go. Now we're no longer outnumbered. So that's always good. We should have a... We're slightly on the lower hand here, actually, right now. It's not so good. 
I was going to say, we should have a slight upper hand soon, but it looks like they're going to be running to the medbay in a minute. Which is okay, because we're going to shoot at them in the medbay, and that should kill them. There we go, he's dead. And they have a fire in the medbay, which is going to slow them down as well. Also, we want to make sure Roper and our NG don't get too low on health, because otherwise they won't be able to heal when they get back to our ship. They're going to die of suffocation, which is never fun. So we'll send these guys back and quickly, quickly, quickly try and get them into the medbay. It'd be a shame if they died here. Go back. Excellent. He already got put in the medbay and get in there as well. Good. Okay. We can actually turn off our defense drone, put that power back in the medbay to turbo heal them. And run through there. Run back through there. Heal everyone up. And then we should be able to get back in there before too long. They might be able to, uh, there we go, fix the medbay and stuff before then. I'm not really sure though. We'll see what happens. I'm going to let him repair it once, then I'm going to blast him with a burst laser in the face. We should kill him, or if not kill him, at least make him really weak and easy to kill next time. Oh, he ran away already. Oops. Well, it's on fire now. The rock ship moves into a defensive position and transmits a white flag signal, willing to buy their lives, offering two missiles, a mi uh, two fuel, a missile, and 29 scrap. But that's not enough. We do not accept their surrender. They resisted some of the damage anyway. We cannot, unfortunately, run in there now, though. Because the room's on fire. But as soon as it's not on fire, we'll be able to run in there and finish them off. I should have just... Yeah, whatever. This worked out fine. They can't hurt us, we can just train up our shields, I guess. <laughs> While we're here waiting for them to put the fires out. And it's time to charge them and put them to death. Death with you. Teleport, I must keep right- Oh, that's what's happening. I'm right-clicking when I mean to left-click, so it's cancelling the teleport instead of actually teleporting them. Which is unfortunate, but it's okay. Down he goes. Excellent. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship, so we strip it of useful material, getting three fuel, two missiles, and 66 scrap. There we go, that's better than their pitiful- pitiful? Pitiful offer. Alright, run through there, Willow. Turbocharge your health bar, and we are good to go. Okay, power back into the dodge. Thank you very much. We have 76 scrap, which we're probably going to spend on buying another power bar or getting some repairs if we can find some soon. But for now, the power bar gives us a little bit, little, 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 words, my goodness, gives us a little bit more versatility. Now, I think we could go over there. I think I kind of want to work my way through this way, though. Let's go check out this beacon first, and then we can work out what we're going to do next from there. What do we have here? Ah! The burnt-out hull of a rock mine layer drifts by. Behind the wreck drifts a live mine. An automated drone that drills into the ship's hulls before exploding. It locks onto our ship's signature and heads our way. Well, we're going to use our improved engines again to reverse thrusters and get safely away. Reverse course and outrun the mine and prepare to jump to safety. Well, that's okay. We could... Hmm. This is a distress beacon over there. I kind of want to check these bases, though. Maybe we could do something really stupid. No, that's too stupid. <laughs> I want to go over there and go back. But it's so stupid. It's probably way over here. I just don't... I don't know. It could be anywhere. But if we go back, we have to go back through spaces we've already conquered. And that's really stupid. Sometimes you just gotta do stupid stuff, though. Maybe we can jump that far? No, we can't jump that far. Maybe we can... Hmm. Here's what we'll do. We'll jump one, and we'll go two, and see if we can go back this way. I don't think we can, but then it's not quite as much backtracking to untamed. That's exactly the same backtracking. <gasps> and it's a sun. Oh no. As soon as you arrive, you hear the telltale sounds of a teleporter and shouts reverberating through the ship. Prepare to burn, fleshy meat sack aliens. And they boarded us with rockmen. That's okay, though. We can tank them. And we should be able to run out of here in no time. Look at that FTL drive charge. Brilliant. All right, jumping out of here. We're going to jump to safety, so let's jump here. What happens? What happens? Oh, this is it. The stupid move paid off. An ancient device is orbiting within the crystal rings of a nearby gas giant. We can't discern its nature or function, but it seems to have been deactivated for a very long time. Perhaps we can get some scrap from it. Well... We can reactivate it with our crystal crew! Of course, we're going to be saying that Willow did this, so it's done legitimately, not through the guys we started with. And reactivate it. Our crystalline companion says, It looks like we have found the abandoned link to my home worlds. I can reactivate it. He transmits some codes to the device, and it immediately powers on, giving us one fuel and jumping us ahead into the secret sector at long last. Da-da-da! We arrive in a sector not listed in any star charts. Strange crystalline ships dot the horizon. Your companion speaks. Here we are, my home sector. It has been a long time since others have set foot here. I wonder how you will be received. I wonder too. You have done as you promised, and so shall I. The coordinates of my old ship have been forwarded to your navigation system. So now all we have to do is get to this quest marker, and we would have just unlocked the crystal cruiser, which is pretty cool. We're gonna let these guys suffocate to death, because that's easy. Actually, I'll go make Willow fight this guy. You can go punch him. Alright, and Cronus is going to heal up by doing the jogging through the medbay technique. 
Excellent. They're doing a bit of damage to... Can I get in there? Get back over there. Doing a bit of damage to our weapons bay, but not enough to prevent us from killing them outright. And down they go. All right. So we'll send Cronus back to his room momentarily. We'll let Willow fix that for a bit. I want Cronus to heal a bit more, though. Cause... Oh, it's not full power. That's why. Because he's still got a bit of damage on him. And it's never good to leave your people in a damaged state. Especially not when we're in the crystal sector and we'd hate to lose anyone now. Be silly. Okay, Willow, fix up that system. How is our skills doing? Hyperion has maxed his. Cronus is maxed. Rhea is maxed. Oceanus is maxed, of course. Roper's getting close to level two. Who? And so is Willow. Okay, they're they're getting they're getting there. Actually, that's Cronus, isn't it? Willow, you're gonna head back up to the med bay and head up to the teleporter. Our fighters are getting stronger. If we had had them from the beginning, they'd have been a bit better. Well, we we almost had a Roper from the beginning, but he wasn't fighting from the beginning, is what I meant to say. And there's a store there, which is great, because it means that we're not gonna die immediately. We've made it to the Hidden Crystal Worlds. Da, 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 da. What do we do here? Well, we're going to jump around and then go to the store. We want to be able to buy some repairs, but we want to have some extra money first. What do we have? Oh, what do you know? Federation sympathizers, contact us as soon as we arrive. We know your mission to be a secret, so don't ask how we know about it. Take this schematic. It's all we can do to help. They give us 34 scrap and an anti-ship drone mark one. I am going to ask how you know about it. Are your Federation sympathizers in the crystal sector? How? You don't even know we exist. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing. Okay, whatever. Free anti-ship drone, 34 scrap. That'll do. And let's jump over here, and then we'll jump to the store. <laughs> whatever. We'll take the free stuff. What do we have here? Yeah. We're greeted by an unwelcome sight. A rebel advanced ship is laying down fire on a crystalline vessel in the distance. How did you guys get here? How did no one... The only way to get here is through a magic super teleporter. How did you follow us? Whatever. We're going to engage the rebel ship. Here we go. Before we can engage, the crystalline ship scores a direct hit and obliterates the rebels. They hail. You! You are like these other aliens! You brought them here! With that, they turn their cannons on us. I'm not like them. Have you seen my ship? It looks like your ship. It actually is, I think, your ship. Yeah, look at that. We have the same ship. I'm, I'm flying your ship. <laughs> I guess they know where the asset came from. Just been color swapped from here. Not that it's bad. But, uh... You... Jerks claiming I did things I didn't even do. I can actually activate my defense drone here and super neutralize their firepower because all these are crystal shots, which means that they get uh, blocked by our uh, defense drones. But I think I'm just going to board them. They have no te they have no med bay. That's an interesting ship design. I don't think I've actually ever seen this one. Okay, now that we're here, Willow is going to lock down Helm. Boop! And we're going to kill the crystal captain. While this other crystal guy is angrily trying to get in. Brecken. Oh, Brecken, you poor, poor soul. These guys shouldn't be able to do anything to us, although the crystal lockdown bomb might hit. Nope, he missed. Because the shield piercing shouldn't be good enough for them to get through. But I am going to blast in the weapons anyway, just to make sure nothing bad happens. There we go. They have a bit of health left, and all of their weapons are destroyed. So we should be able to kill the second crew inner Trico, and the crystal guys should be downed. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, Crystal Burst Mark II. That could be good. We find a weapon system on their ship. With no crew to stop us, we install it on our own. Getting 56 scrap and a Crystal Burst Mark II. Is that a, is that a normal burst laser? No, it's a lot slower. Uh, that would be really cool if it wasn't really slow. Because <laughs> it has shield, shield piercing, which is always fun. A modified projectile weapon that fires three shield piercing crystals. I've never actually seen this one before. Huh. That's, new. That's neat. This is actually only the second time I've ever been here. Um... I have had a very hard time getting to the Crystal Sector to show you guys. As you have been very well aware, because I haven't been here yet. But I have tried. I have tried so many times. We're finally here! Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, that was awesome. Let's jump over to the store, buy some repairs, so we're not going to die immediately once we've made it to our magic Crystal Sector. We arrive in an area, bustling with, bustling with crystalline ships and stations. A merchant quickly messages us. You're from the outside, no? This is a great opportunity for both of us! Do you have anything you wish to sell or trade? Why, yes I do. Ooh, those are cheap, holy cow! Wow, 20 scrap? Is that the original price? Crazy, that would be amazing if you didn't already have Burst Laser 2s. That's actually really cool, which means these are worth nothing. I'll sell you a Glaive Beam though, how about that? Hard to complain. And then it's a ship drone, and... Yeah. I don't want to sell it. It's not as good as these, though. That's the thing. The fact is, the extra five-second delay makes it nowhere near as powerful as the normal Burst Laser 2s. The shield piercing is kind of nice, but it doesn't doesn't overcome that. Yeah, well. We'll sell them the, their weapon back. Sorry there, guys. I wish I could uh, take more advantage of you. And you only have drones to sell me, so I can't even take advantage of that. And you have really expensive repairs, you jerks. 
And I'll buy your fuel, just so I don't run out. Because that would be unfortunate. And we'll buy some repairs. Not too many, because we're going to get a bunch of repairs for free at the end of the area once we jump to the last stand. But I would make sure that we survive this area, at least. So let's keep jumping. What do we find here? We find a... For a moment, we assume it's a glitch. But no, we found a Federation military ship. They hail us, and after some probing, reveal that they deserted the Federation fleet before stumbling into this sector while seeking refuge. What do you know? We can offer them supplies, we can attack the traitors, or we can let them be. Huh. Well, I don't know what happens here. I don't know what the options are. Offering supplies, what does that involve? Attacking the traitors, what does that involve? They don't look too dangerous if we decide to attack them, but they are ex-Federation. They, they, they desert, though. Ah, I don't know. Hmm, this is uh, it's strange. This is an event I have never seen. This is something that's rarely happened on this, uh, this series, because I've played this game so many times. Well, you know what? Mm, 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 mm. I feel vindictive today. We're going to attack the traitors, because they deserted the Federation when it needed them most. And who does that? That's not hardly acceptable, and we can't leave that as the symbol of the Federation of the Crystals, so let's murder those suckers. Deserters cannot be tolerated. We open fire on the cowards, though it doesn't please us to do so. The Federation needs every soldier it can get. And that's exactly what I was saying. <laughs> it's terrible, but that's eh, what's, what's gonna do. We're gonna murder them, and we'll see if their ship has any thing that indicates that they're not, in fact, Federation. I don't trust these guys. The Federation wouldn't do this to us. They would never desert. So we're going to just get in there and punch them directly in the face. Actually, first we're going to hit them with some lasers. So we'll wait until that... Ah, uh, missed. And we're going to try and burst them there and burst them there. Go. So we hit those. That should turn off. We missed everyone in the weapon. That's unfortunate. Well, let's jump in there. Their med bay is turned off, so we should be able to do some serious damage if we can actually get in there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to jump in here to the door room and fight some dudes. They're going to try and fix their med bay, though, which is not exactly what we wanted to have happen. Please miss us a lot. Yes, you did. Fantastic. Their med bay is still broken, which just means we're basically safe here. We'll fire another salvo into the weapons, hopefully turning off... Yes, there we go. Turning off the light beam. Burst laser mark three. And this guy has now been busy to go and fix it. And fantastic. Roper just leveled up to tier two as well. Alright, I can't let Roper take too much damage, so I'm going to run him out of the room before he dies. And actually run him back in. I don't know. He's getting low, though. I can't afford to have him get hurt like that. He has to be able to make it to the med bay after teleporting back. And down goes Banks. Sorry to kill you there, guys. Now that the ship has been emptied of hostiles, we search it, finding a prisoner who offers to join our crew and 40 scrap. Is he a crystal crew? <gasps> he is! That's the best! That was the best outcome. I was worried there at first. I was like, oh, not another... Not another person like this. We can't use them, but we can use them. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Cadriel. Six crystals on this ship. That's amazing. All right. Well, we have more crystals than have ever been seen in one place by me, as far as I can tell. Willow Cadriel. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Well, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> I was not expecting that. What are we going to do next? We can jump to the quest beacon. First, I think we should spend some of our upgrades. We can buy another upgrade to our shield, so we can't power it as a thing. We're running out of the point where we can actually use our upgrades. I'll buy another power up in there for now, and we'll jump over to the quest beacon. We get ourselves the Crystal Cruiser! What is over here? We arrive at the beacon and are immediately greeted by an automatic message or warning of some kind. The translator can't seem to discern its purpose, but after a few short moments, an alarm goes off and a hostile ship jumps in. Well, that's no good. These guys, on the other hand, do have a med bay, so we're going to have to pummel them a little bit harder. But we are going to go in and murder them directly, because we should be better in close combat than them, especially because we can use our lockdown power to fight them one-on-one. -on -one. So let's jump in there. Hello. And we are going to lock you down. Zoop. Now we can kill you. And while we casually wait for that to work, what weapons do they have? It looks like a heavy laser mark too. If that's even a thing. I don't know. But we're going to blast them in the weapons. Pow, pow! There we go, the big one is now offline, making them a little bit less scary. Although we should probably shoot them again, just to make sure. Although we're going to burst laser them in the med bay, so they can't run over there. There we go. It's still not down, but we should be able to overpower them in there, despite the fact that they... Ooh! Ouch! 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 That was bad. Ow. Ooh. We find a weapon system on their ship. With no crew to stop us, we can install it on our own, getting 41 scrap and a crystal lockdown bomb. That's good, but... Ow! I forgot I had set a bullet to fire there. That was almost really, really stupid of me. Well, teleport back in there, guys. Roper, immediately get yourself into that med bay. Whew, that was bad. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. 
That was not what I intended to do there. Okay, all healed up. Willow, are you level 3 yet? No, you're not in the max level. Okay, well, that's fine. We did just get a free lockdown bomb, which is another fun weapon that we're not going to be using. It's not. It's funny, this isn't actually as good as the weapon we started out with. The, uh... I forget what they're called now. But they were pretty cool. Alright, let's grab... Oh, can I even make this jump? How do I get across here? This looks like the closest place, so I can probably jump that. Let's check this quest out, and then we'll see what happens. We get some repairs, that's nice. We arrive at the coordinates to find a massive crystalline cruiser docked at a small repair station. We arrange for the ship to be sent back to the Federation base while we stock up and have the station repair our hull. Getting four fuel, 63 scrap, and another 10 hull, as, or 10? I something like that. And as well as the crystal cruiser unlocked. Da, 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 da. We got it. So, now you've seen it here, folks. We have finally unlocked it on camera. Fantastic. All right. We can upgrade our shields and take some power to the med bay, too. That would probably be a wise decision. I don't know. Four level, level four shields might not be very useful at all on this ship because of the fact that our power is so directed. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We got a billion, a billion scrap anyway, so we might as well spend some of it. Put some points into there to make us a little bit harder to take out like that. Put some power-ups into the teleporter. And uh, drone control, and those are different things. I'm just gonna waste all my money. I'm not gonna worry about the shields for now. We'll put them in there after, maybe. Eh. Yeah. The thing is, none of this is gonna be powered for the most part because it's not useful. But we're gonna put the pints in. The pints. Pints. Just so that if it does happen, we have the opportunity to not take direct damage there. So we can take a point of damage in our weapons without knocking out our burst lasers. As soon as we arrive, a rebel ship jumps in after us. They must be really hot in our tail. Okay, they got a beam drone and a defense drone of some sort. Hermes missiles and a dual laser. Also really big doors. Okay, oh, a defense laser mark two. That's going to make knocking out their shields a little bit more difficult. Because it's going to have a much easier time of shooting them down. Uh, well, this might be a little bit more difficult than I planned. We might have to use our defense drone here too, because they have Hermes missiles and I really don't want to get hit by those. So turn off the med bay, turn on the defense drone. No Hermes missiles for you today. Alright, this isn't going to work like this, so we're going to have to blast them a little bit harder than normal. Fire the burst lasers! There we go, drone bay is now on fire. That's what we like to see. That have only stopped the beam drone though, the defense drone is the one we really need to turn off. Hopefully it burns out. Yes, it just burned out. The beam drone's back online, but the important drone is now offline, which is what we wanted to see. The ions should be able to take them out. We're going to pummel them in the weapons quickly. Ah, uh, not quickly enough. And they're going to get that defense drone back online very soon, because there's two people repairing it, which is unfortunate. We should be able to take advantage of this to quickly, bla Ooh, good. quickly blast them again. Take the drone control completely out. We also killed two of their crew, which is phenomenal. We might even just board them to death now, because they only have three crew in there, no defensive drones. Yeah, this is actually a better strategy. And no med day, so we're going to get in there and crush them. Crush her faces. And uh, lock them down. Fantastic, you're not getting out of here, and no one else is coming in. They're trying to fix their weapons right now, which is a little bit unfortunate, but our drone is doing a great job of locking the missiles because the ship is tiny. So that's what it's really, really good at. So there goes some of their crew, and in a minute they're going to come in and try and fight us. Fantastic. Welcome to your doom. Welcome to your doom. And it looks like Willow just leveled up to maximum skill, which is nice. Please shoot that down. Fantastic. And down goes the crew. With the crew dead, we take five of their fuel out of storage and another 67 scrap. Lovely. Alright, teleport back onto our ship, please, and get in the med bay. Okay, actually we need to power that up. Defense drone offline, full power to the med bay. Fantastic. A lot of micromanagement involved in this ship right now because of so many different things going on in it. But it's working out fairly well for us so far, so I can't really complain. There's another store over there. We only have a lockdown bomb to sell them, I think. Yeah, so we're not going to worry about that too much. We could possibly get an augment, though, which might make it worthwhile. Uh, I don't know. We'll jump over here first, and then we'll work our way back. That would probably make it a little bit more valuable use of our time. What's here? Hmm. No ships are in range, so we take the time to scan the area. It seems like every planet we've seen so far shows signs of highly developed habitation without overpopulation. They must have a very structured and well-regulated society. Interesting. Well, how many jumps do we have left? We have one, two, three-ish until we have to be out. That looks pretty solid to go that way. Let's check out the store and see what happens. Is there anything good in here? Please have augments, please have augments. We receive an incoming transmission, but it seems badly garbled. Eventually we realize it's advertising an equipment store. Apologies, says the vendor, when you finally get him on the vid screen. Long time since used universal translator necessary. Please buy. Buy! It's funny, we have crystal crew on our ship who talk to us no problem. I don't know why they can't. And there's no augments here. Just more crystal junk. 
Crystal Heavy 1, Crystal Burst 2, Crystal Burst 1. Interesting. We're going to sell the Lockdown Bomb because we don't need it, and it's much more valuable than the other things we've been selling so far. And we don't need to buy anything else here, so we're just going to jump away. All right, we're going to jump over to this beacon and there and then to the exit. Sounds good to me. What do we find here? A crystalline ship messages us. I've heard tales that our isolation has finally ended. As a warrior, I must demand to test my skills against you. Before we can respond, they move into attack. Well, you guys are suicidal then, I take it. Roper and Willow, time to go and murder. We could send in our other crystal crew as well, but I like having that double attack damage. Get in there, chum, and Willow, lockdown. We don't nearly need to lock down, it kind of extends the battle artificially a little bit, but it also makes it a little bit easier for us to trash them while they can't do anything about it. I suppose, you know, you can't get a cloak on this ship, and I'm thinking that's possibly why the uh, the engines are so cheap. Kind of to make up for that little deficiency the ship has. It's not really the end of the world, if, even though it's the case, but I mean, uh, that might be why it's so easy to get the evasion up, because you can't get that evasion booster. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship, so we stripped a few some material, getting a fuel, a drone part, and another 70 scrap. Gotta love free money. Alright, teleport back on board. The bonus from doing the melee is also amazing. Not killing your opponents is always incredibly valuable. Okay, 185 scrap, looking pretty good. We might even be able to max our ship out soon. No, that's a very different thing than normal because of the way that the uh, values are all skewed, but that's fine. What do we get at this fight? Dun da da! Crystal shards fly past our ship as soon as we jump. We scan to find the assailant to discover a crystalline ship carrying a number of humans in its cargo bay. They must be hunting the intruding ships. Well, I can't really complain if they're all rebels, because that's probably what they all are at this point. Well, we're going to teleport in and do the same strategy we've been doing for every one of these ships, because they're incredibly poorly defended against borders. Only having two crew and not being able to do anything against the fact that we can lock, excuse me, lock them down makes it incredibly easy. We are going to burst fire them in the weapons, though, to make sure they don't hit us too hard here, because their char charge time is terrible. Go! Oh, it's going to recharge with those shields, at least. There we go. We knocked out the bomb. That's the least important thing. Whatever. He's going to try and fix the fire whilst we smash his helm to bits. He'll probably come back here eventually, but until then, we're going to punch them in the helm here. Please let that fire do some more damage. That would be fun. And we've broken the helm, and it did do some damage. Knocked out one of their other weapons. Lovely. All right, well, let's go jump in here and kill this guy before he has a chance to do anything else. Okay, it looks like he is going to die. We don't have our lockdown ready. He might try and make a run for it, which he did, but that's okay. We can just shoot him to death. And he's dead. The crew of the enemy ship has been eliminated. We scrap what we can. Who knows how many people we've saved by stopping this ship. I don't know if we've saved any people, because the crystals were probably protecting themselves there. We might have actually caused more crystal deaths by stopping this ship. But we did get two missiles, a drone part, and 74 scrap out of it, so I guess it's good. <laughs> uh-huh, yep, something like that. Run Willow through the med bay to get that awesome simultaneous healing going on. Like we've been doing all episodes, it's not really new anymore, but it's what we've got to do because we have no other way of healing. Max out our ship, because why not? And let's jump to the exit beacon and get on to the last stand at long last. This is probably going to be a little bit longer of an episode than normal because of the fact that we did four jumps in the previous sector. We've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, we'll be able to jump to the next sector, and what do we find? We find a rebel automated scout floating near the beacon. Despite being in pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. We can use our advanced sensors to remotely scan the ship. Well, let's try it. What does this do? Our improved sensors indicate that it's safe to hack the drone. We upload its map data to our navigation system and strip the ship of useful material. Yeah, my words. Strip the ship of useful materials, getting two fuel, a missile, and 35 scrap. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, now what do we do? We're gonna jump, I think. We're gonna jump over to the last stand. So, whoop! Here we are. We arrive at the heart of the last Federation fleet. Our access codes get us past initial security and a direct feed to the capital ship's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? We explain our mission, and our explanation is met with numbers of cynicism and disbelief amongst the officers. General Terzel of the Engine Brigade speaks up, saying, Intel suggests a potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. We explain the weakness of the enemy ship being the rebel flagship, and Tully responds, saying, It's settled, then. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off their warships, but you, you must succeed in destroying this flagship strange crystal amber people. We will fuel your ship now, and our stations will offer help wherever possible. Good luck. He also gives us ten fuel, and we're back to full health. Phenomenal. Now, where are we? I have a feeling since we jump back into the wormhole, we won't be at the entry to the sector. Oh, we are. We're at the base. I wonder if that was possible, even. I don't know. We have a bunch of drones, not quite as many as I'd like. And we have to head over this way. Apparently he's jumping there. That's kind of weird. We can follow this track that way to get to him, and we should be able to punch him in his stupid face. Although I am going to grab a quick drink of water first, so I will be right back. 
Alright, well it's time to take the fight to these guys now. We're back again, and let's start off by jumping over to the repair beacon, which should give us a bunch of free drone parts to spam at our enemies, and that sounds like a great strategy to me. A trade station was abandoned nearby. Some Federation engineers repurposed their shipyard to perform military repairs, and they offered to help us fix our ship. Not that we needed the health, but we do need the five drone parts they gave us. So that will be nice, and let's jump over here and get ready to smack them up this flagship. We'll jump our way over and see what we can find on the way. First jump, we find sensors indicate that the rebels are setting up a forward jump beacon behind the nearby planet's moon. More importantly, a number of ships are passing by, and if you prepare to fight, five, five shield layers. Not cool. Also, Ion Blast Mark II and Halberd Beam and Beam Drones. Not cool. Alright. We need to smack these guys up, but good. And it's going to be really hard, because they have really... No, they have really high dodge. They have really low dodge. Probably because they have five shield bars. Please hit them. Okay. We need to hit them a couple times, and we need to smack them in their little faces. Otherwise, it's going to really hurt us. Alright. One more hit, please. One more. One more hit. Uh-huh. There we go. One more would be nice. One more. Yeah, one more. Keep going. Do more. More hits. More hits are good hits. There we go. Now we're going to smack them. Alright. Firing the first lasers into the weapons. Now they're down to less than two shield bars. Or, you know, less than three shield bars is what I meant to say. Less than half their shields. We can actually target them. We still want to take out that ion blast though, because it does put us at risk of being murdered by beam drones. And now they're not dangerous at all. Now we're going to fire one salvo at the drone bay and one at the helm to make sure they can't dodge and they can't hit us with as many drones. That would be nice. There we go. We also set their helm on fire, but there's no oxygen, so that won't matter. You may notice that there's no uh, stripes on the floor for the oxygen problem, but that's because Ryan Eagle took them out, and he also took out the low oxygen warning, because it would be irritating to have a ship with no oxygen constantly doing that. Ship explodes, even behind a missile, a drone part, and 60 scrap. Excellent. Well, that was easy. Let us jump again. We have 134 scrap we cannot spend in any way, unless we find a store somehow, which is unlikely, to say the least. So let's jump ahead again and see if we can't smack this flagship in the face again. By the time we notice the rebel ship behind the beacon, it's too late to avoid a fight. But that should be fine. They've got a defense drone Mark II, beam drone, ooh, breach missiles, a dual laser and a basic laser. Not too scary. We're going to blast them in the shields with our ion blast. We might go in there and kill... Oh, they can't do that because of this thing. We have to hit them in the uh, drone bay first. Alright, well, we might actually use a defense drone here because that would probably be very wise to not make us die horribly when that thing fires. And we're going to pummel down their drone bay as quickly as possible. Because if we can... Yes, if we turn off the defense drone Mark II, we should actually be able to knock out their shields quite effectively. If we can actually hit them now. Please block that missile. Thank you, drone. You're very good at that now. And pummel them in the defenses again. We want those drones off. And I missed every shot. Phenomenal. Alright, we really need to actually hit them this time, guys. Otherwise, we're going to be in a very bad way here. I could jump away. I could probably very safely jump away. But it's not exactly my intention here. We are not getting lucky here with the shots. Okay. Well, we might just run for cover so we don't wind up taking any unnecessary damage here, because that's not fun. Please hit them. There we go. Hit them a couple times. They're going to repair super quickly, though, because they have that guy and the repair drone in there. And they're you're missing every shot that should actually ion out anything. There we go. Okay, come on them again. There we go. There's another two hits, I think. Eventually they'll go down, but it is going to take us a very long time. Thankfully, the defense drone makes them basically not scary at all, and the fact that they can't hit us with a dime. And we missed... <laughs> this is the slowest, slowest attacks I've ever tried. Okay, we'll be here all day at this rate. Blast them again, please. There we go, two hits in, they try and surrender, offering us six fuel, five missiles, and 36 scrap. That's actually not bad for fuel and missiles, but we don't need fuel and missiles, so we're not going to accept their surrender. We're going to make sure they die. Here comes another breach missile, please shoot it down, thank you. At this rate, they will eventually go down, but it might take us all day. So we're going to blast them, <laughs> them a couple more times. There we go. Another injured person in there, trying to help... Uh, what was I trying to say there? Trying with all of their hearts to complete that repair before we can hit them again. It looks like it's not going to happen this time, and they're going to die soon. Actually, they managed to keep alive with one single point of hull, which is a little bit irritating, but they're going to die for their imp impudence. That's the word I was looking for, not impotence. Impudence. And there they go. Bye-bye, Rebel Rigger. They're probably going to give us less than you offered us, but that's fine by me. Ship explodes, giving us a missile, a drone part, and 61 scrap. There we go. And time to go fight this guy. He's coming straight to us, so we're going to go straight to him. All right there, flagship. Let's see what you got. This is, of course, the moment of truth. This is it, the rebel flagship. If we can destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. So there is, of course, no turning back. All right, they've cloaked out because they're jerks. We are probably going to want to teleport into their missile weapon soon, so I'm going to send Roker and uh, Willow to do so. Yeah. 
Yes, 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 yes. Not quite yet, though. I have to reappear first. Gotta reappear first. Please miss us with all of your attacks. That's what I want. Alright, teleport them in there. We're gonna probably be firing both of our hunters at them. Let's try that. Please don't go into the missile. Or any of the other weapon pods. That would be ideal. We're gonna start ion blasting them in the shields. This should distract a bunch of their people. That's a lot of nice misses. Here come some missiles, which are not nice. We're going to... What are we gonna turn off? What are we gonna turn off? Okay, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt us. Ow. Okay, well, luckily it didn't actually turn anything off because of the positioning there. Alright, that could have been much worse. We're going to do some damage to the shields while we simultaneously do some damage to the missiles. Try and make these people as unhappy as possible. They've poked out again and are, of course, firing at will. Cronus has taken a little bit of damage, but he's doing okay. They've killed our drones. We've just about killed the missiles, though, so that's looking pretty good, too. We can probably afford to just tank this again. Probably. Although I could turn on the defense drone and block at least one of them, but we'll just tank it. Please miss. There, three misses. There we go. Teleport our crew back on board, and we're going to fire some more hunters at them. I hope you guys like not breathing. Alright, Roper, get back in the med bay, and you need to actually have some power now, otherwise you're not going to be able to heal, are you? Okay, well, let's... Hmm. We're going to fire some more burst lasers, I think. Turn off those shields, please. There we go. Actually, I should really be hitting them in the cloak right now. I always forget what order I should be attacking at this point, but we're going to make do here. You're not even attacking them. You're just attacking the door. Whatever. Hit that cloak, please. There we go. Now they're not going anywhere. Now a whole bunch of their crew should come in and try and fix the damage. We're going to go for this style of kill again, where all of them rush over here to try and put out the damages, but it just winds up getting them all killed. That's a nice, fun way of doing things. Do some damage here to the doors as well. Hopefully it doesn't set any fires, but we'll send people to go fix it. That's three crew. That's not great, but that's pretty good. No, that's not good. They all just left. Uh-huh. Well, that's unfortunate, because that would have been a very convenient way of getting rid of them all. They actually got two hits there. That's unusual. Once the fires go out, they should send people in to go try and fix it, though. So that should work. That should work. And he's in there already. I want to try and wait for the killing moment so I can get as many people as possible. That's part of the problem here. Hmm. He's still chilling out in there. That's surprising. That drone has lasted a long time. Alright, they're healing up though, so they're gonna start rushing in to try and do repairs soon. Once those fires go out, we should have a chance of getting them in there. What are they doing? He's just dancing back and forth between there. He must be like just on the verge of health where he can try and do repairs. Then the suffocation hurts him and he has to run away and get health. And he runs back and then runs away and then runs back. <laughs> That's weird. Look at that. He's just dancing in there. It's the weirdest thing. He's... He's never going to die at this rate, but he's probably going to get bored eventually. Oh, I wasted that. That's unfortunate. And I'll fire another one into the doors. There we go. Please send people to go fix these things. I want to kill your crew off nicely. Because then my boarding party can rampage around inside your ship. It doesn't look like you want to do that, so I'm going to have to kill you. Okay. In that case, we're going to fire some deadly lasers. Bye-bye. Excellent. We've taken a bunch of ion damage there, so I didn't feel like risking it anymore. Just as we gain the upper hand, it finds a way to make an FTL jump. In his new state, you'll have to get closer to the base to be a threat, so we bought ourselves some time, but we'll have to keep up the assault. Give me a fuel drone part in 21 scrap. Uh, I know I probably shouldn't have just sat around there for so long, but I felt like it. <laughs> Power back into the med bay, the superhero up rover. There we go. Okay. Now we're ready to go again. So, let's jump. And this is going to be nasty. We're going to need our defense drone for this one, because they're going to be spamming assault drones at us like they always do. So, over here it is. Let's go straight to this beacon and fight them. Boy. Okay, here we go. Fight number two. Bring it on, flagship. This is the nasty one. We don't even have a cloak here, so this will be extra nasty. We chase down the flagship and discover it's heavily damaged from the previous fight. Scans indicate it has redirected considerable power to drones, and we have to get ready to murder them. Alright, so defense drone, you are now go. Is there only one drone? What? Where's the beam drone? Where's their beam drone? That's... That's weird. I have never seen them not have two drones here. What's going on? That's so strange. Alright, let's start ion blasting them, and let's send our crew into their rockets to stop that from hitting us, because it's going to hurt. Jump into the rockets. There we go. That's the weirdest thing. The weirdest thing. Okay, well, they don't even have boarding drones. Where's all of their drones? That is so strange. Let's pummel their drone control, see if it does anything. Doesn't seem to. Ah, they hit us once in the radar. That's not the end of the world. We have plenty of spare radar. And we've destroyed their missiles, which is always nice. Teleport back on board, get Roper in the med bay. There 
There we go. The fire should go out fairly quickly, although it seemed to have burned out two layers. That's unfortunate. Smash them in the drone control. There we go. That should instantly end that... No, it didn't end the drone wave. That's also very strange. Normally, smashing the drone control instantly ends the drone wave, but they all fired a bunch of times here. This is weird. It's not doing what I'm used to. And I don't like it. Well, let's smash them again in the drone control, because that's the best place to do damage. If we can stop... Oh, now they're... Oh! Now they swapped their attack drone for a beam drone. What's going on? No, that was part of the power surge. I don't know what's happening here. I have no idea. This is weird. Here comes a whole bunch of dudes again. They might actually do some damage here, but I, I, I don't know. Maybe Dry Eagle changed this fight to make it a little bit more manageable without a cloak or something? I, I don't know. Whatever happened, it's very strange. Very, very strange. I'd like to be able to see the enemy ship. I don't really care enough to move one of my crystal crew. I guess I should move Cadriel. He's not doing anything. Not that it really matters, but that's so strange. All right, another power surge full of beam drones. Not scary. You can't hurt us with just beam drones. That's weird. That's just weird. Okay, well, they're dead. Down they go. Okay, done. <laughs> don't take it. That was the easiest fight ever there. They didn't have anything scary. Just as we finally gain the upper hand, they find a way to make an FTL jump. In their new state, they will have... We didn't even use our power, did we? It finds a way to make an FTL jump, and its new state, you'll have to get closer to the base to be a threat. We've bought some time, but we'll have to keep up the assault, getting three fuel, drone part, and 21 scrap. No, I mean, I'll take it. I don't understand, but I'll take it. And let's go murder that guy. We can even go here first and then murder him, but I think we're just going to go murder him. We have plenty of free goodies here anyway. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll put the power in the shields, I think, for the next stage, although we're really going to need it. And I'm going to go heal up Cronus before we do anything stupid. Because there's no point in leaving your people with damage. It just makes you less powerful. Although this is the phase that has the uh, Zoltan overshield. Not that it's... Oh yeah, that's right. There's no power in there, so he heals really slowly. I forgot about that. Is he just about healed up yet? Yeah, he's full. Okay. This is the next stage of the Zoltan overshield, which for Ion Blast 2 should absolutely ravage. But it will make things a little bit slower. We may take a couple more rocket hits on the way. But that's fine. Let's go and fight them. Here we go. Time to take down the Rebel Flagship with ease. Get a single point of damage in that whole fight. We're not, certain how, we're not certain how it's able to keep fighting with the amount of damage it has sustained, and it looks like it has transferred power to the teleporter as well as some kind of super weapon. And the Zoltan Shield, didn't mention that. This teleporter thing is not going to be the end of the world, though, because they're not going to be able to do a whole lot to us, given that they will be suffocating. So we're going to send Cadriel in there to help out. With Hyperion, they should go down pretty quickly, and that shield should also go down pretty quick. We might actually take some nasty damage in here. Depends how many the depends how many. Depends what the rockets do to us. And they hit us once in the engines, which isn't great, but the lack of oxygen is gonna be a problem. Lol. Okay, let's hit them with some lasers. Let's burst laser them to get those shields down as quickly as possible. There we go. Now we can get in there with Roper. And into the rockets, yes. They've teleported back on board our ship again, so we're gonna send Cadriel in to go help out again. More rockets are coming our way though, and here comes the big attack. Ooh, that could have been quite nasty. It did hit us in a couple different places, but could have been much worse than it was. So we're going to burst laser them again. This time we're gonna hit them in the helm, I guess. No more dodging for you, friends. There we go, they're still gonna dodge. Not quite as much as you were. Especially because there's no one manning that station now. We'll send you over to the med bay where you will slowly heal yourself up back to reasonable levels. And that rocket launcher should go down fairly soon. Not quite soon enough for my tastes, but fairly soon. Here comes some more rockets. Thankfully, they only hit us once in the teleporter, which isn't too bad. It set us on fire, though. And here comes a whole pile of shield. Uh, shields. A pile of heavy lasers. Thankfully, they all missed us. We're going to teleport back into the ship. There we go. We'll send Cadriel down there, and we will send Roper into the medbay. Actually, Cadriel, you're going to go help fix the teleporter. Not that we're going to use it again, just so it gives you something to do. And we're going to smack them in a variety of different rooms. Go, 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 go. There we go, no more missing. Their shields are now on fire, which is great. We can now focus fire on just killing them horribly. There's nothing they can do about it. These guys are sitting ducks at this point. They might get another salvo off at us. I think they will have two health left. Yeah, two health left. But they're going to burn to death soon anyway, so I can't really regret them that. Actually, they're not going to burn to death. We get to kill them manually. That's even more fun. All right, last shot. In fact, I'm going to shoot this guy just for fun. Bye-bye. Rebel flagship has been taken down. The Wrath of the Titans. <laughs> you felt it. Thanks to the valiant effort of the VSS Titan and her, and her successful crew, Hyperion, Cronus, Rhea, Oceanus, Jones, Roper, Willow, and Cadriel, which has a surprising six crystals, the Rebels' flagship was destroyed, throwing their fleet to chaos and ensuring a Federation victory. That was a very easy final fight. Very easy. We just trashed them completely. But it happens from time to time. 
So, not an amazing score here, 4,558. Let's take a look at our scoreboard and see how it did overall. It's not even on there. We have too many really good runs in the Kestrel now, or at least in mods that replace the Kestrel. It's not on our scoreboard in any way. <laughs> it's not on the top scores of all time, and it's certainly not on the top scores of just the Kestrel either. But that's okay. There's no high scores created here. No new achievements earned, but it was a fun little ship to try. The Crystal Frigate, as it says here. But yeah, a very interesting little ship by Dry Eagle. The mod link is, of course, in the description below for all of these videos if you feel like trying it for yourself. It can be a little bit frustrating at the start, because if you don't find weapons to give you that direct punching power, you really can't do a whole lot to reduce the amount of damage you take, but it makes for a very different style of gameplay. So it's definitely worth checking out. So, if once again, if you have liked this video, don't forget to like the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.